so today we will be talking about the groups of axillary lymph nodes right so let's start with the anterior group which can be seen right over here and the anterior group of axillary lymph nodes is perhaps the most important it is also known as the pectoral group this drains the major part of the breast and also the anterior half the anterior upper half of the trunk this is the pec major part of it has been cut off this is low border so it is located along the lower border of the pec minor and because the lateral thoracic artery a branch of the second part of the axillary runs across along the low border it is also located along it so the nodes of the anterior group lie along the lateral thoracic vessels and they receive lymph from the upper half of the anterior wall of the trunk and from the major part of the breast over here the posterior axillary lymph nodes also known as the subscapular and these lie along the path of the subscapular vessels on the posterior axillary fold of the axilla and the posterior axillary fold of the axilla is basically made up of the latissimus dorsi the teres major and the subscapularis and this basically drains the upper half of the posterior trunk so quite the opposite of the anterior and also it drains the axillary tail of spence which is basically a projection of the breast into the axilla now over here we have the nodes of the lateral group located in the upper arm medial to the axillary vein and these drain the almost whole of the upper limb it can be said that they lie along the upper part of the humerus medial to the vein now we have the nodes of the central group located over here in the fat of the upper axilla they receive limb from the preceding nodes they also they also receive uh, lymphatics from the base of the axilla more more of the floor of the axilla and the intercostal brachial nerve is closely located to the central group and the center it basically sends uh, afferents to the apical group now the apical group drains uh, basically receives efferents from all of these indirectly and directly also it drains the upper part of the breast as can be seen over here we have the interpectoral nodes also it basically receives some lymphatics from the thumb which follow the way of the cephalic vein so these are also known as the infraclavicular group and these are deep with the clavipectoral fascia along the axillary vessels they receive lymph from the central group from the upper part of the breast and from the thumb and its web and the th lymphatics from the thumb accompany the cephalic vein and this can be asked in an mcq